Hello. Huh. Hello, Alyssa. Hi. Hello. How are you? I am good. Let me start my video. There we go. Oh, good. Thank you. Okay, so I had I had only contributor summit communications improvements. Actually, I'm not even sure. Well, that's probably a healthy one to discuss. And then I think we should probably include um, outreach program status just just in case. Uh, what topics do you have that need to go on the agenda? I have um, an ebook. Ebook the Jenkins is the way ebook number three. That um, I like to get a plus one or um, a negative one, hopefully a plus one, so that we can get that published on the Jenkins is the way io website and get some um, visibility on it. But this ebook focuses on the Fortune 500 companies. Oh, cool. So yeah. you got big names. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So, and, and so do you have a link to that ebook that, or have you already sent it and it's, I'm, I've just been ignoring your email? <laughs> no, I sent it last night, but then it got rejected because the file was too big. So I need oh. to zip it and then um, resend it. Okay. All right. So a, a topic is added to the agenda, and I think it may just be you and me. I assume that Jackie is probably probably comatose somewhere, <laughs> trying to recover. I, sorry, that was a tip. Thankfully, I'm not being recorded, but but she's probably comatose somewhere, trying to recover from CDCon, right? Yeah, yeah, and I don't blame her. Yeah, yeah if if she's not if she's not 
drowning her sorrows in alcohol. She's hopefully doing something <laughs> very healthy that, that helps her <laughs> recover. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we got the July 4th weekend, so a lot of people are out. Oh, right. Hadn't thought of that. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to start the record. I'm going to share my screen. I think it's already recording, Mark. Oh, is it? Oh, it is. You're right. Oh, so I've already been. Oh, that's terrible. I may have to edit out my comments about about (laughs) copious amounts of alcohol or anything. Okay, good. Sorry. No offense intended, Jackie. It's all love. (laughs) That's right. It is true love. That's great. Okay, so let's share this. So here's what I've got for agenda. Uh, Uh It is July the 1st. Okay, Contributor Summit retrospective document is under development. Communications improvements, outreach program status, Google Summer of Code, upcoming uh, CDF webinar, a week of July 19. presentations by all six projects. Oh, nice. That's what the hope is anyway. Yeah. Okay, so that, and then Jenkins is the way ebook number three. So nothing else to put on the agenda? Um, uh, do, do you, should I mention about the uh, DevOps radio opportunity that CloudBees oh, is yes, giving us? Oh, yes, yes, okay. right. Okay, sure, absolutely. Okay. So let's let's put that on the list and great. Okay. All right. Okay, so on the contributor summit retrospective, the retrospective document is here. It's available. Please Let's see, where is the link to the retrospective section of it? I have to find it. What, here we go. Here's the retrospective. And um, that is just a great opportunity for us to learn from the experience. There were lots of things that, that it, it went very, very well, but there were so many things that we could improve that we would be remiss if we didn't uh, use them and learn how to do these things better. Mm-hmm. Now, Alyssa, one of the, the things that's on my mind is I assume we'll have a contributor summit associated with uh, DevOps World. Yes. And, and that's also your plan, right? Yes. Or, or unless that has changed between um, maybe perhaps Oleg and you, but, but yes. Yeah, and, and Oleg and I certainly did not discuss any any backing away from it. Uh, okay. We did we did note that would like to have the summit, and this will be a little weird maybe, but during Asia Pacific times. Okay. So India and Australia and China can participate. Okay. And, and that may mean, well, it may, may be a little strange, but I think it's worth it because we, we had a bunch of Asia Pacific contributors in the current summit who were meeting with us at 1130 and 12 at night. Mm. And, and it's, that's heroic of them, but we'd yeah. like to, to counterbalance that. Sure. Um, and then... I'm assuming that we would use the same platform that we use with CDCon, which is our own Zoom, right? Or that works that's, out fine? Yeah, that's, I, that was my assumption as well. Okay. The, uh, the, there were lots of observations about the, the many different ways that that didn't go perfectly. But, mm. but the, the summit itself had great results. It's just there are things we learned about painful mistakes. Don't do this, Mark. Don't do this, Mark. Don't break things this way. And <laughs> and so those are all noted in the retrospective. That's how we learn. Yeah, well, it's just awkward to learn in front of 45 people who are all very skilled, very talented, technical people. <laughs> but but that's what I did is I learned in front of an awful lot of very technical people. That helped you to remember. <laughs> exactly. Yes, it's it's embedded. It's burned into my mind. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anything else on Contributor Summit? Um, so I have the t-shirt list. I will work on that. I've not forgotten about it. 
Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. And and you'll handle the the shipping, etc. Yeah. That's sponsored by Cloudbees. Yes. Thank you so much for Cloud to Cloudbees for doing that. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. All right. The next topic was communication improvements. We're using this discourse site to gather and encourage people to talk and chat with each other. So mm -hmm. here we here we've posted, for instance, links to the contributor summit, the full sessions. And it's an easy to use platform. It's very simple for me to post those kind of things. The content looks good. It's it's not a not a poor experience for the user viewing it and just helps us be more effective. Uh, we're like still it. we're still in prototype mode. It's not yet not yet superseded. Um, as many places, oops, as we think it will. But for instance, I consider the documentation SIG communications um, are now on this are now there. And and I like it. It's it's simpler, mm -hmm. simple and easy. Yeah, yeah, I like it as well. We had talked about posting blogs um, via discourse. So is that still in the works or under discussion, Mark? It's so I think it's still an open topic, but it's an open topic that will likely wait until Oleg's back. Okay. Because I think I think you've you've got an excellent point. Alyssa's let's I'm going to use you as a very specific example. Yeah. Experience creating Jenkins.io blog posts is terrible. It's painful. It, it is. It's it's just painful, uh, ugly, etc. <laughs> right? It's just not how we want. It's not what we want if we want to encourage people to contribute, and and it's. That's just the reality of it, right? If we want yeah. someone to contribute and we say, hey, we're open to your contribution, except that you need a PhD in computer science in order to do it. Yeah. That's that's not the experience we want. So yeah. um, considering ways to either blog, cross post the blog or cross host the blog from discourse to Jenkins.io or other techniques like that. Yeah. Yeah, I had I had a similar oh I had a discussion with Roxanne um, from CDF. And I said, you know, because she also posts blogs on Jenkins.io and she made it seem really easy. And she said that she was also struggling with it, but her mm. only um, advantage that she had was that her husband is a developer so he helped her with it or else she would have struggled too right good yeah. so so that that highlights now i guess we we missed one item i i've got to show this because it's such a treat to have this mm -hmm. oleg has already added the ability for us to comment on blog posts in discourse yeah so, yes i saw that i love that and and quite a quite a cool feature it's okay look we announced this change but now conversations oops we announced this change this change here but now conversations can happen here and people see the conversations attached to the blog post mm -hmm. love yeah. that yep yeah. so Oh, and I have an action item there. That's right. I need to create a blog post for the Contributor Summit. Because we need, uh, need to capture the videos, the ideas, the action items, etc. Good. Great idea. Yep. Okay. Outreach programs. So I listed Google Summer of Code and 
July 16, let's see, July 12 through 16 is evaluation of phase one. Mm -hmm. And then during the week of July 19, uh, Cara de la Marque is leading the, the um, is gathering the uh, students and preparing them to present. Any questions there, Alyssa? We will. We will need to, the usual things. We'll. We'll need to promote it. Mm -hmm. Need to encourage um, involvement, etc. Yeah. Okay. Next topic then. Jenkins is the way. All right. So, um, ebook number three. Jenkins is the way. Ebook number three is um, has just been um, completed. Um, it needs to go through the community for a round of approval, but this ebook focuses on the Fortune 500 companies that are using Jenkins. Um, so just off the top of my head, um, you know, we've got IBM and Apple in there uh, and Roche, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but they tell their stories, how what the challenges were and um, how they use Jenkins to solve problems and what benefits they got out of it, what values they got out of it. So um, I'll be sending, sending sh should I send that out via the SIG mailing list, Mark, or should I put that in discourse? Oh, that's a good, that's a good question. I mean, I think we've got yeah, so both of them are public lists, right? Why not try it in discourse? Would you be willing to try it in discourse? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because there's there's nothing in these that's sensitive, or there's not intended to be anything particularly sensitive or things like that. This is not where you need private private conversation. It's really okay that this could be. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would love that because it then gives us a chance to check how does discourse work with what in this case is probably a large file it's attachment. It's a PDF right? file, yeah. Yeah, right. So, and so you may need to may need to host that, place that on Google Drive. Okay. What I found, just as a pointer, what I found when I was doing the discourse postings for. Um, let's see, let's, let's show it. I just posted a bunch of things for to Jenkins to community.jenkins.io for these talks. Mm -hmm. And the easiest way to do it was, okay, if we look here, oh, they don't show me the text. Oh, that's so sad. They've already, what you do is you see where it shows these videos. Yeah. All I did was paste in there a URL to the video. I did nothing else all by itself on the line, a URL to the video. And I think a URL to your PDF file may cause it to be expanded automatically by discourse. So it's visible right there as here's a PDF file with a thumbnail, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. So I think, I think discourse is a great place for you to post it because it'll probably be a better experience for you than even email is. Okay. Okay. Great, excellent. Anything else cool. on the ebook? Nope, that's all I needed for that. Now it may, I think it may help if you, if you uh, to include, to post to the mailing list, oops, mm -hmm. uh, with a pointer to the discourse discussion. Okay. Just because if somebody hasn't yet started monitoring discourse, a post to the mailing list will say, hey, I've sent this, I've posted this over here. We'd like to discuss it there. Okay. Excellent. 
Okay, DevOps radio opportunity? Yep. So um, CloudBees has given us an opportunity to um, to speak on the DevOps radio with their DevOps radio. Um, so basically, I'm reaching out to our governance uh, board and see who would be interested in participating in um, this opportunity. Um, the goal here is just to give the Jenkins project some visibility. It's been a while that we've, you know, we we had an opportunity to build awareness in terms of that's outside what the, the great things that within the project that's been doing but outside of that beyond you know the the blogging and the tweeting and the LinkedIn post um, so I thought this would give us a really good opportunity to get some visibility on Jenkins and get some interest on Jenkins and for people to talk about you know what's the latest and greatest things about Jenkins what can people look forward to and such good I like that So, and, and do you mm -hmm. have a timeline on that? Um, I do not at the moment. So um, I think once I have volunteers, then we can set up a time with DevOps Radio. Um, just want to make sure that we give our participant, our, our speaker, appropriate time for preparations. That makes sense. That, that's that's great. Thank you. So this is DevOps Radio is a, a podcast kind of thing that it's an audio only experience that people people attend and they yes. can listen to it at any time, just like any other podcast. Correct. Ah, cool. Thank you. Okay. Anything um, else? We oh, go ahead. Yeah. So one last item, Mark, is um, Cloudbees also has given us an opportunity for. Um, um, PR, not pull requests, but press release opportunities to speak to um, analysts or, um, yeah. So they're asking for a spokesperson in case we do get an interest. Um, in the past, it has been KK, Tyler, Croy, or Tracy Miranda. So we might want to talk about who should be the Jenkins spokesperson in case in the event that we need one. Yeah, good, good question. So that feels like to me, we'd probably need a, that question would go to the governance board, I would assume. Okay. I think we should ask the governance board for their, their preference. You know, I could see easily see Uli or Evelina or Gavin or Oleg, any one mm -hmm. of those four members of the governance board being a very reasonable spokesperson at any time, okay. right there. I think they're all well aligned and understand, uh, but, but I suspect they would also want other members of the governance board agreed that it's okay that they speak. Got it. So I can, I'll send an email to the, um, the board mailing list, if that's okay. Uh -huh. All right. Great, thank you. Yep. Yeah, there was, I mean, there was some, there was some talk after, after the Oracle cloud thing. Um, yeah. There was some talk that it would probably be best if we had CDF act as our press release coordinator slash source, but I don't think we came to final that it's still um, governance board needs more discussion on the topic. Right. Great. Right. Yeah, I know that they, CDF can help us with press releases, announcements, but with like a spokesperson, we haven't really discussed that. Got it. I see. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anything else? No, no, all good stuff. I'm, I'm good. All right. Thanks a bunch. Thank you, uh, Mark. Let's go ahead and end and I'll upload the recording later today. Thanks. Great. Well, yeah, I, this says I am. Am I still recording? Alyssa? Yes, it shows that you're still recording. Okay, it is. Okay. My thing did not say that. So thank you very much. That's the end of our session. Bye.